Well, I've got the motor put in place and it's with a chain drive to the augers that are in here. I've been trying to fit the guards in there that keep the grain from just running down into the bottom. But here's your here's the auger right there. And so I 3D printed this piece right here and it's just got some screws in the end of it and it comes up in this proximity sensor right here reads them every time they come across. So there's four of them for each blade of the auger here and it's they're in the same position as that so that I can read where they are and then control how many you know if I want it, how much I want it to feed each time so how many of those divisions do I want it to dump and so this is what controls that right here so I've got this is a counter and what it does is it counts how many times this goes by or how many divisions of the auger dump and then this one is a timing relay and what it's going to do for me is once this runs it will um, reset this relay and then this relay will not let this activate and run the auger anymore until uh, whatever the time frame is. So what I'm worried about is I use a photo uh, cell to tell this thing so it, cl it turns on when it gets dark at night and that way it feeds my goats they run into the barn to get the food and the door closes behind them and keeps them safe from coyotes at night so what that photo sensor though you know sometimes if you got a really cloudy day or something like that happens it can try to close the barn more than once a day so what this does is this timer makes sure that once it has fed them it's not going to do it again for say another 22 hours or 23 hours or whatever I set it to and then it can feed them and then it won't do it again for another 22 hours but what it'll do is it, after like 22 hours it'll say okay now it can feed them when the photo sensor goes off again and so it'll it'll come on and say okay we're in this mode to, to feed again but then it won't necessarily do it because the photo sensor hadn't fired and then once it fires then it'll feed them uh, at that time. Now this is the motor relay. I really don't necessarily have to have this. I could use the counter. There's a relay in there that I could use to run that, but I'm using the relay in the counter to run this relay because I'm thinking if anything, any relay is going to burn up, it's going to be the one that goes to the motor and these are cheaper than this one. This counter is only like $10 and these are like $4. So it's not that big a difference, but at least it's, it's easier for troubleshooting too. This relay is just used to reset this uh, timing relay. Okay, so let me turn it on and let you see kind of how it works. Did this one 12 volts, everything else is 110 volts. This one runs on 12 volts because that way I can do a battery backup. So even if the power flickers, this one's gonna keep counting and keep, keep us from feeding them more than once a day. So this is set, I've got, I've got separate videos that uh, probably will come out before this one that show this counter video uh, counter relay and this timing relay and how they work so i'm not going to cover that in in this video now this timing relay i will have it set to roughly say i want it to once it's fed them it i'll, I'll lock it out over on this side and i'll say probably like 22 hours so once it's fed them for 22 hours it can't feed them and then after the 22 hours is up, I'll put a time frame over here of say four or five hours. So 22 hours has gone by and this says, okay, you can feed them now. And what will happen is it'll, it'll be in this mode and it's okay, now you can feed them. But the photo sensor has not, uh, is, is not, it's not dark. So there's not getting a signal from the photo sensor. So it may go for an hour or two or maybe even three and then it'll fire. But it, even if it goes just 10 minutes, as soon as it feeds them, it will reset to the 22 hours and will lock them out for that length of time. Now I'm using this wire to uh, simulate the photo sensor firing. So let me show you kind of how it works. I'm going to let this one click over. I don't have enough time left to actually let it go. It needs a few seconds to actually run the motor. So this is when it's locked out and you can see 
if I touch it together, nothing happens. It's locked out. Okay. Now, when that time frame is going to be up here in just a few seconds, so now it's evening, and it's saying, okay, whenever the photo cell's ready, you can feed them. So let's say it's ready. Boom, there we go. It's going to come over here, and this is going to count. We just have it counting to one, and now it's shut off. And now it's not doing, it, it can't do it anymore, and it reset immediately, and this side started counting. Now, the night is over, and the sun comes up, and the photo cell disconnects. And now we're back to evening, and it says, okay, you can do it anytime you want. Okay, let's feed them. Sun went down, got dark, now we're waiting. It's doing whatever we tell it to. Click. It'll sit there like that all night long. And then this is counting to the 22 hours or whatever it is. And then the sun comes up, the photo cell disconnects. And it's sitting here waiting for the photo cell to fire again. And it'll count to whatever I tell it to. And then it's, it sits there and waits. Okay, so I can also set this counter to do more than one, of course. Let's do three. Okay, I made 25 seconds here. So this is the lockout period after just after it fed. And here in a second, we're going to act like it's evening. And it's telling us we can feed. And I changed this to three so you can watch it count up to three. Okay. So it's going to count one. And there's two. And here comes three. So whatever you set this to is what it's going to count to. And then in the morning, the photo cell disconnects. And then in the evening, the time runs out on this, and it says, okay, anytime you're ready, and you, you'd hit it, and it would go again. All right, so that's how the controls work for this. When I get the rest of it finished up, I'll come back and let you see that. Thank you for watching.